Boom. All right, what's up, you guys? It's Royce Jacob. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about two earnings reports that fall very near and dear to the hearts of the home team. And those two reports, as you already know, are those of Coinbase and Riot Blockchain. Now, I definitely have a lot of thoughts about everything that's going on right now that I want to share with you guys. So let's quickly go over the rundown of the video. But before we do that, give this video a like if you're taking advantage of these crazy bargains we're seeing. Honestly, if you're not, I am disappointed in you. And uh, let me know in the comments down below that you are, in fact, taking advantage of these dips because there are some crazy, crazy opportunities out there with, these, with this price action that we've been seeing. Okay, so anyway, that said, let's get into the video. We'll go over each of the tabs I want to discuss with you guys, and then we'll dive into each one individually. Coinbase revenue drops 27% from a year ago, stock slides. So we will be going over some of the key metrics, not just the key points, but really going over some of the numbers from both of these earnings calls. We'll kick it off with Coinbase. We will then move on to Riot Blockchain. And uh, as we do that, we will go back and forth between the charts, okay? So we'll cover Coinbase, go over some of their metrics. I'll give you guys a little bit of TA. I mean, right now we're <laughs> TA for charts like these. You're kind of trying to catch a falling knife, but I do want to give you guys my bounce targets over the coming weeks um, again not saying that this is going to recover tomorrow it's actually super super unlikely that we recover over the following sessions i just want to preface this with that but i do think that these things can bounce over the coming weeks and i want to talk to you guys about where i think they can bounce to and kind of justify some of these price targets for you okay so coinbase go over their earnings reports Boom, jump into the charts, cover them on the t uh, cover them technically, and then we'll dive into Riot's. Uh, take a look at Ryan's, Riot's earnings reports, which were actually pretty damn. I mean, Coinbase's weren't terrible, but they definitely weren't good. And even though the stock's been treated terrible, I mean, this, this market is just completely unforgiving right now. But anyway, Coinbase will kick it off with the bad news and then move on to the good news because Riot actually, I mean, pretty much impressed on every single metric when it comes to their earnings report that they just released. Okay, so kick it off with Coinbase. Once again, dive into the charts, go on to Riot's report, and then close it out on the charts with good old r-i-o-t the o-g all right so that's the breakdown of the video you guys before we cover coins earnings reports do you want to read the little just a little piece i wrote on um, coinbase in part two of my newsletter just to give you guys my quick summary and then again uh, of course i will elaborate on these thoughts as we go over the report and uh, dive into the charts all right so coinbase Coinbase's year-over-year -year revenue and active users tanked and they reported a significant loss per share. But even in the wake of all of this chaos going on, the company still generated $1.2 billion of revenue last quarter. It makes no sense for a company to be hovering around a market cap of $15 billion with an annual revenue of $5 billion. And before we go further, you guys, it's also important to remember... Um, and I've seen this kind of come up a lot over the course of this earnings season. Some of you asking... Their, their Q1 numbers just crushed it. They just crushed on their Q1 revenue, their est they beat estimates, et cetera, et cetera. But the stock is still falling. Why is that? And that's because an earnings report, especially in this market environment, is almost completely dependent upon guidance. Coinbase, not so much. And this is kind of one of the, one of the few exceptions to where the guidance is actually pretty positive and the stock is just reacting viscerally to, um, to the previous quarter. But uh, I do want to let you guys know, I do, I am well aware of the fact, <laughs> and I want to reiterate that, uh, those of you who may not be, uh, as aware of this, that when you're looking at earnings reports, it's not so much the previous quarter's revenue that matters. It's not the metrics from the previous quarter that matter. In this case, it did. Of course, I'm bringing this up now, but primarily you want to look for what they're saying in guidance you want to see what guidance they're giving because all stocks trade as futures in a sense okay so um let's read over some of these key oh actually uh, i don't think the stock will recover tomorrow so again just reiterate that but i do think it can see a significant bounce in the not so distant future i think coin will retest that previous low around 110 dollars over the coming week or two once it does i'll close out all of my call options positions okay so um again you guys it's very unlikely that uh, the markets overall, growth sectors overall, tech stocks recover over the coming sessions. Um, things are bloody. There's fear in the air. The fear is, I mean, you could cut this fear with a knife. Uh, but 
Uh, again, over the coming weeks, once the dust settle, settles, I do think that uh, Coinbase, many of the other names that we talk about frequently, will see some bounces, will see some relief rallies. And uh, again, I will elaborate uh, further on these price targets as we dive into the charts. But if you guys want to know exactly how I'm personally trading these, how I'm navigating my personal portfolio over these hard, over these, I mean, it's not even hard times. These are just depressing times for a lot of us um thankfully we have been guarded with put options and uh seeing a lot actually seeing some green in recent cases i mean yesterday was a highly lucrative day actually for my personal portfolio and uh of course the waves portfolio so if you guys want to know how i'm trading on a day-to-day -day basis you want to get updates you want to get newsletters like this this is part two of uh, three newsletters that i sent out this morning so very active with the newsletters um especially when i'm a little slower with the video so if you guys want to join that is going to be $15 a month or 40 bucks for every three months. First link down below, do yourself a service. Try it out. Dip your toe. Uh, if it's not worth it, just unsubscribe. But I put a lot of time and uh, energy into this. And uh, over the past over the past couple of weeks, while the market's been melting, I mean, you would have paid for the subscription many times over if you had uh, been following the principles learned from the news that, are, of course, I never want you guys to copy me directly. That many times in the past, you will find would have uh, not been very lucrative. But... Again, learn from my successes, learn from my failures. Thankfully, these past couple of weeks have been successful. And uh, again, if you guys are eating good with me, if you guys are part of the portfolio already, thank you and uh, cheers to you because it is not easy. It is very not easy to make money in a market like this, okay? So uh, that said, that's that. That's a little PSA. That's over. Let's dive into the meat of the video and uh, talk about some of these numbers uh, in Coinbase's report, okay? So Key points, Coinbase reported their first quarter earnings after the bell on Tuesday. The earnings come amid a major sell-off across the crypto market. Coinbase earnings missed analyst estimates and shares fell as much as 19% in extended trading. That was, I mean, just, just refreshing the page, man. Just watching trade. Dunk, 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 dunk. Um, that was, especially after they already fell, what, 12%? during the regular day they were down like 25 percent today that's crazy for a stock they're down 50 percent in the past week and that is after all the price action that we've been seeing over the past few months so bonkers you guys and uh again let's go over some of these numbers just to reiterate how kind of irrational this price action is coinbase reported first quarter results that missed analyst revenue estimates after the bill on tuesday shares for shares fell more than 15 percent in after hours trading building on a drop of 12.6 during regular trading hours before the results dropped here are the key numbers a loss per share of a dollar and 98 cents that's i think that's really what took a lot of people surprise my by surprise myself included um coinbase has been highly highly profitable in the past and their past earnings reports and uh they did definitely slip on this one so that that is the one metric that i do think can uh, justify especially in this macroeconomic environment people want profits people want profitability at least investors obviously that is um so uh yeah the fact that they are sign that they had a significant loss per share is uh is pretty pretty staggering revenue 1.17 billion dollars versus 1.48 billion expected according to refinitive and again you guys they're still they still pulled in 1.1.2 billion dollars of revenue which although they did get a loss per share although the crypto market has slowed down significantly and all all of the retail joes out there pretty much lost all of their money especially if they're trading on leverage um they still saw 1.2 billion dollars in revenue just in this past quarter so that's again that is kind of the silver lining of all of this the stock has lost more than 70 percent of its intrinsic value since late march it's brought a slide in tech stocks and the value of cryptocurrencies hit by coinbase particularly hit coinbase particularly hard bitcoin the most popular crypto briefly dropped below uh, the symbolic price threshold of 30k on monday is down more than 30 percent this year overall usage on coinbase declined from the fourth quarter retail monthly transaction users um, mtus fell to 9.2 million down from 11.4 million in the fourth quarter while total trading volume dropped from 547 billion in q4 to 309 billion revenue fell 27 percent from a year ago and it also reported a net loss of 430 million dollars in the first quarter which is again a pretty staggering loss um but coinbase doesn't appear to be worried about its long-term prospects the company doubled down on an argument that it has made before reminding shareholders that its stock should be thought of as a long-term investment due to the volatile nature of the cryptocurrency price moves again you guys coin really closely tracks bitcoin ether um the crypto markets in general but coinbase shouldn't trade directly based on their price obviously because coinbase it doesn't matter what the price of the asset is it matters how much people are trading those underlying assets okay volume equals revenue for coinbase 
quotes uh close it out with this quote we believe these market conditions are not permanent and we remain focused on the long term the company wrote in a letter to shareholders accompanying its earnings release it also said that it's focusing on the next generation of crypto opportunities beyond trading okay so again you guys it's uh it's all it's all sunshine and roses until the party's over it's a party until the party's over and uh right now the party's over and the party is i mean we are in the wee hours and we are in the dark hours of the party we're in that like 5 a.m twilight zone so uh again you guys that said the sun should be coming up soon i really can't imagine we fall much lower than this from here um but again hey who knows right now bitcoin is down stock futures are down at the time of recording um it might be i mean this might be another bloody couple of days but that's why i hope you guys are have some puts on deck um just just to hedge again just to keep yourself safe in this i mean in this gnarly again unforgiving market environment so uh again please you guys even even if not this time around for future reference when things are crazy when things are starting to slow down when things are getting scary from a macro perspective always keep yourselves hedged and always keep your portfolios protected so you have i mean so you have some dry powder to play with for the next run up again i just said in the newsletter this morning i'm pumped about all the profits that uh that we made from these put options over the past few sessions and uh again today i capitalized obviously that might not pan out so well <laughs> again the, uh i did buy some coin uh some coin shares and coin calls today that probably won't pay off tomorrow but again you guys at these levels uh considering i do think coinbase i've said this many times before i'll keep saying it i think coinbase one day will be a trillion dollar company it may take five ten years but uh with that in mind i mean i see every move down like this is just an, an opportunity to bag up and again you guys when waters are bloody the sharks come out and you got to be a shark in, uh, in times like these okay so Coinbase just to uh, justify that uh, initial price target for you guys. I do have some price targets following this, but I just want to talk about my initial one. I'll cover. Uh, I do cover these uh, targets in the news that are more, but I will cover these uh, as we cover Coin Riot Miners, uh, just crypto videos over the short term. And once this target's reached, I'll probably post another video. But again, I'll keep you guys posted on that for the short term. Uh, when it comes to, I mean, not maybe maybe short to medium term. Again, talking maybe two maybe three weeks out from where we are right now as we as we move into the latter uh, into the latter half of may i do think it's possible for coinbase to see a reversal i mean if you think about it we just i mean just <laughs> just a, a couple of sessions ago coinbase was at this level so it's not crazy to believe that over the course of a couple of weeks we can rebound and uh, get back to this level but this previous low over here the low coinbase saw on its never-ending series of lower highs and lower lows was over here at about 112 and uh, i do think for that for that very very simple reason that coinbase eventually again over the coming weeks will make a rebound to this 110 to 115 dollar range and uh that is where i'll be looking to reestablish some some longer term plays some calls maybe take some short-term profits and uh, just move things around a little bit because i do think we can see over the course of the coming months a rebound to some levels of the up here some of these trend lines up here but again we'll cross those bridges when we come to them let's cover right okay so right blockchain q1 revenue trails estimate as production climbs but so do costs and we'll look over some of the numbers in this article and then i actually want to read from what's riot's website um, some words from their CEO, Jason Less, because I mean, they honestly, this company is crushing it and credit where credits do Jason Less. Watch this guy grow since I first invested in riots in uh, back in 2017, since riot was just a wee baby. I mean, floating around a buck. So um, again, credit where credits do this guy is building a very, very impressive uh, company at a crazy, crazy rate. Okay. So let's go over some numbers first though. Riot blockchain. Q1 revenue didn't climb quite as much as Wall Street expected as production arose, but so did cost expenses. Q1 gap EPS of 30 cents versus 9 cents in Q1. It's unclear if the most recent quarter is comparable with the 1 cent consensus, consensus, consensus there we go, estimate. Q1 2022 net income included a $9.2 million gain on the sale of Bitcoin and an increase in fair value of derivative asset 46.2 million, partly offset by 26.4 impairment of held Bitcoin and unrealized loss of 1.6 m on the marketable equity securities q1 revenue of 80 million dollars trailing the average estimate of 81 million or 82 mil surged from 23.2 million in the court in the year ago quarter 
I mean, mining net revenue of 57.9 million jumped from 23.2 million in the year ago quarter. The company also recorded $9.7 million of hosting net revenue and $12.1 million of engineering net revenue in the latest quarter. Mining revenue margin remained at a consistent 67% of mining revenue on a year over year basis, while the price of Bitcoin fell 12%. So again, even though Bitcoin fell, the fact that they uh, maintain that same margin, which again, your, that, that's your, your profit margin, of course. That's how much they're profiting off of the mining of a single Bitcoin. Even as Bitcoin fell, it's impressive that they kept that stagnant, okay? Rob Blockchain stock is rising 1.7% Tuesday. I think it's up over 2% at the time of recording. Bitcoin production rose 4% quarter over quarter to 14.05 Bitcoin during this quarter. Uh, Q1 total cost and expenses of 42 million climbed from 15.8 million in the year ago quarter. Uh, Q1 adjusted EBITDA of $12 million compared with 11.7 11, uh, 11 versus 11.1 .1 in the year ago quarter. After the end of Q1, Riot deployed 3,456 S19J Pro and miners at uh, Winestone and increased has, uh, hash rate capacity to 4.7 exahashes as of April 30, 2022. In April, Riot Blockchain produced 15 more percent, 15% uh, more Bitcoin in April. Uh, sees, that's kind of a weird, Kind of a weirdly written thing. Uh, sees two, uh, sees 2023 self mining hash rate at 12.8 exahashes. Okay, so obviously that is close to a three, that's like a 2.53x from where we're at now, and that is not very far out. Okay, so what's crazy? What's crazy here, you guys? Okay, where'd it go? Okay, Q1 revenue of 80 million dollars, but that is up over 3x, almost 4x from where it was in 2021 the fact that 2022 revenue uh, just in q1 was at 80 million when in q1 of 2021 it was at 23 million is crazy and that shows that this company is growing at in a, a crazy pace again even though the cost of bitcoin is falling and has fallen um the fact that riot is able to keep these consistent profits and keep um again the margin on the price per bitcoin that they mine steady that shows that from a long-term perspective, they can weather the storm, uh, rather weather the storm regardless of how Bitcoin performs, at least over the short term. Okay. So quotes uh, once again from their CEO, we are extremely proud of the progress that Riot continues to make, having achieved record levels of net income, revenue, hash rate, and Bitcoin mine in the first quarter, said Jason Less, CEO of Riot. Our vertically integrated business strategy of owning, operating, and manufacturing has accelerated our growth while helping insulate us from continuing global supply chain issues. Over the remainder of 2022 and beyond, Riot plans to build upon the solid foundation set to date. We look forward to demonstrating continued operational execute, excellence, execution, in increasing our hash rate and leading our industry and in increasing the company's developed capacity okay so uh, again always bet on the jockey don't just bet on the horse and this guy has created a very very uh, i mean a very respectable company in ride and uh, again the metrics are, are speaking for themselves here and uh yeah fundamentals are good right once again up at two percent in after hours uh once again just gonna go super short term here and uh, we'll cross the we'll cross price targets beyond this uh when we get to them, of course, I will cover these in the newsletter on a more frequent basis, but I will make a video catching back up on Coinbase and Riot um, over the coming weeks. All right. That's for sure. So short term, I do think Riot will, at the very least, following this impressive earnings report, um, come up here to test the line of resistance on this medium term dating back to um, the end of March. So just over a month, uh, Riot has been in a very obvious, I mean, pretty, pretty damn consistent downtrend. So short term, I do think Riot, at the very least, will be able to test the line of resistance on said downtrend. That will take us up to about $8, just, uh, just about $9. Um, by week's end in the case that we do see it. So May 12th, uh, actually May 13th is week's end. So Thursday, Friday, I do think Riot, uh, Riot can see close to uh, $9. And uh, hey, if this is broken, then that's very, very bullish from a technical perspective. And again, we'll cross those bridges when we come to them. But short term, Riot deserves to see a bounce. Coinbase deserves to see, I mean, Coinbase might not see a bounce. Uh, in the time that Riot does, but I do think Coinbase at these levels is an absolute steal for the long term. Again, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have been taking advantage of just some of the freaking carnage and bloodshed that we've been seeing in the markets. Let me know if you have been a shark, because again, when the waters get bloody, you gotta be fear of er, Referencing the Warren Buffett quote, good old Oracle of Omaha, right? Be greedy when others are fearful and uh, fearful when others are greedy. For a long time, people were greedy. Now people are getting extremely, extremely fearful. And now is the time where you uh, can accumulate positions and companies you love for the long haul. Because right now, again, when the water's bloody, that is when 
that is when generational wealth is potentially created okay that is if you make the right decisions of course okay so Again, I'll talk to you guys downstairs in the comments below. If you guys want to join the next level of the Waves fam, that is the first link down in the description box. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.